Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to this cool ASMR video. Now, before we start, I am I'm probably gonna have a mint while I do this. Because I've been I've been binge eating mints at the minute and I don't know why, but like the video, click subscribe, it helps the channel out immensely. But without further ado, I'm gonna do this intro. I've done this intro about four times. So first let me explain. Number one. I ordered lots of PC parts, some of which weren't necessarily compatible with the others. The CPU that I bought wasn't compatible with the motherboard, and so I've had to buy a different CPU. That has arrived, and I need to go and grab it, actually. Um, but this intro is me going to be going through the parts that I've got. Everything other than the case, because the case is next to me. Basically, I built it, put it all together, didn't work, so all I did was kept the case and the fans as they were, but put my other motherboard and CPU back in from my other case, which is down next to me. So basically, parts of my old PC, what the motherboard, everything that was in my old PC is in here, other than three new fans. But once this is fully built, because that's what I'm going to spend the next, well, once I've finished playing foot champs, I'm going to spend the next sort of couple of hours building this overnight, hopefully, hopefully if it works. So, without further ado, let me talk about what I've got here. I've got a packet of thermal paste from Amazon. So, I'm just going to go ahead and open this. Just so I've got it ready and handy and I can put everything else where it needs to be. I just ordered a packet of Ion's thermal paste. There you go, simple. Um, nothing too extravagant. Um, I think these are zip ties. I've had these for ages. I haven't zip tied anything in it. Which is when I go to put everything in it and make sure everything's fine. I'm going to make sure I zip tie everything. Because I'm going to need to now. Because the cable management isn't pretty. But 100 pack zip ties. These are rather large, I'm not going to lie. But hey ho, they'll do. Um, rubbish pile I'm going to whack there. Bear with. I'm not going to put them in just because I want to get on with this. But this is a Ryzen 9 3900X. Th obviously third generation, not the 5900X, which coincidentally is here. This is the 5900X I tried to put in it. But the motherboard itself can't take a fifth gen chip apparently so and i'm not so i'm not flash bios updating it because i didn't have this i'm just gonna wipe this in it and see where we go from there um so my mate's buying this back off me because i bought it off him i can live up there for now and uh, yeah so that's fine this let me get the specs up ryzen 9 3900x so cost me 410 pounds this did comes with a cooler, not that we're going to use it, uh, but it has 12 cores and 24 threads at 3.8 gigahertz. Now, a lot of you have been asking me to update you as to my PC, because we have updated a few things. So I will be, where is it? It's on this file, isn't it? Yes. So I currently have installed the B250F motherboard. Now, no, we're not going to talk about that first, we're not going to talk about that. So the CPU we've currently got is an i7-7700. Which, if I compare it to this, click compare alternatives. Uh, oh. i7-7700. That has four cores and eight threads. So I'm getting triple the cores and triple the threads with this Ryzen. Which is not all about that. Sometimes it's about the actual performance itself. However, the i7 run at 3.6 gigahertz. This one runs at 3.8. So it is just it is miles better. Like, it's just a hundred percent better in terms of being a workstation as well. So that's the CPU done. Move that to one side. The fans that we have bought need to be controlled. Now, when I first installed them, they were loud, and I I couldn't for some reason I couldn't alter the fan speed based on how I had them plugged in. So instead, boom! I got a Corsair Commander Pro. Uh, this was sixty quid. And I thought when I when I first bought it, I was like, I can't believe I've got to spend sixty quid to get this like this. 
best purchase I think you can buy for a PC, especially if you're having RGB fans and you want to control those speeds and like how quiet your computer is. Incredible. Like, and it's so effortless as well. All you do is, it's it, you, you plug the fans into where it says plug the fans in, and you plug the LED bit to where you plug the LEDs. You can also add USB to it as well, which is good because I don't think I can have two USB 3.0 ports that come with this PC. Uh, this case has two. I don't think the um, the motherboard that I've bought has space for two. I was looking for the second one, I couldn't find it, so I just want one in here. Simple, easy. That being said. Because I'm adding more to my PC, I need to upgrade the wattage. Now, currently my PC is a 450 watt. I looked at it, it was a 450 watt. I thought it was 550, but it was 450, which is probably why I've been having a few power issues in terms of whenever I'm like rendering a video my PC comes up and it says power usage like 100%. When I look at the stats and it's a bit, 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 bit ropes, you know. But I've gone ahead and bought a, an RM650X full ATX. Oh. I've just got out of the shower, lads. My hair's a mess. Well, it's not a mess, but it's it's fluffy and it's annoying me. Um, 80 plus gold certificate fully modular which means I'm going to be able to route the cables a little bit easier as I'd like to so that's nice and easy that goes in I decided because my CPU is going to be running at such a high temperature I'm going to need something a little bit more effective and a little bit better and you can hear it rattling around because I had this installed when I tried it the first time so hence why I've got more thermal paste is the H100 RGB Platinum SE with the adjustable RGG, RGB pump head and fans. That can live there for now because, yeah, so we've also got a set of three LL120 RGB fans in white because the case is in white. You will see that I will do a bit of a tour of inside the PC once I've got it all sorted and all set up. Um, I'm not going to video me putting it together because I tried that fucking ball ache of trying to set where the camera goes. It's just too much effort and I really can't be dealing with it. But I've got another three here. There's three already installed. As I said, I bought those and put them in and kept them in there just for the sake and connected them to these. Obviously this can house up to six. You can buy splitters off some bloke off eBay where you can then add up to 10 to 12 because they just go one to two and if you put connect two and then plug it in one slot, obviously six times two is twelve. I'm only going to have six at the end of the day, so I may have another black fan put in at the back, possibly. Um, currently, I've got the three front fan, the three front fans that were on my case, my old case. I took them out and whacked them on the bottom just because I didn't just want three case, uh, three fans in my case because you needed better airflow than that. But the radiator is going to sit at the top. And the cooler goes onto the CPU, it's going to draw air up and out of the case. I've currently got the bottom fans, because this fans on the bottom of the case, you will see it in a little while. They're going to pull air in. The ones on the side of the fan are going to push air out and then pull up, push air out of the top. So it's going to be a pull and then push, push, if that makes sense. Like, I did watch a video on fans. The only slightly better way I can have it is if I have the side fans, the ones that are next to me, if I have them as pulling in. And the bottom ones is pulling and the top ones is push out. That's the only real way that it, it makes a slight bit of difference, but it's it's minuscule. Like the guy did I watched a video with a guy, he tried like I think it was like three times, two times one. So it's probably six, six different configurations of fans and they were minuscule differences. But that being said, these are the fans I've got, so I'm gonna have six of them installed in total. And then last but not least. the Robstrix B450F Gaming. Now I'm upgrading from the B250F to the B450F, which is one of the reasons I've got to go with an AMD chip because it is AMD compatible 
uh, not uh, Intel compatible. So it has an AM4 socket. I'm reading this off the back, by the way, hence why I'm putting it in front of you. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to balance it on that. No, I'm not. No. Here, it says, apologies for the fingernails, you guys know me. It says 3000 desktop ready. And I've got the 3900X. Which means, hopefully, it should be just blatantly compatible and I don't have to mess around with anything and try and fix things. That being said, I know it's a PC and I'm probably going to have to fix things. So, that's all the components I've got. I was going to upgrade my GPU instead of buying all of these, but all of this amounted to the price of one graphics card. So I thought, while I've got the budget and I've saved up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then come, I don't know, two, three, four months down the line, once GPUs have decreased in price again, and will have settled and they're even available, it's not even available, still, it's been three months. It's been like since, what, November, December, so like we're, we're coming up on three to four months now of just no availability. Once they're available, they'll hopefully decrease in value a little bit, and I'll be able to buy one, it's going to be a lot easier to buy one. But, with that being said, I'm going to move on to the second half of the video, which is me giving you a tour once I've built it. So, enjoy. Okay, everybody, I'm trying to keep quiet, just because I've, to, I've, I've already recorded this, but it went a bit wrong. But my computer is now built. As I said, I'll give you a little bit of a walkthrough of it. Um, as you can see, this is my setup. I'm not sure if you've seen it. Here we go. But I have one screen over here. One, my 4K monitor there. Screen there, camera there, everything's nice and dandy. I have a light up there, I don't want to show it because it is a little bit bright. My microphone sits on a thing here and then we'll get to the PC. Now, first and foremost, this PC is fucking incredible. I'm absolutely loving it. Obviously, I've got my stream deck, this, uh, sweets, anything you, controller, anything you'd rather, you know, usually see. But here is the grand reveal of the PC. I'm just going to wheel myself this way. Look at that for a beauty. So we have, I'm just going to talk you through the bits. We have the H100i radiator cooler. Oh, if it doesn't want to focus properly. There we go, that's a lot of focus. So we have the cooler, uh, the, the radiator there, which has these pipes down here, as you can see, that feed into the cooler itself, which is a Corsair. Come on, I'm going to refocus it, which is a Corsair obviously cooler, uh, AIO, which is an all-in-one cooler, um, the wire, that wire there is a little bit wonky because it does feed into the thing there, it annoyed me a little bit and I probably should have sorted that out but I didn't, and we have the CPU wire up there which is slightly more annoying than anything, the wires are the, probably the most annoying thing, I could sort it out but I'm not going to because it took me so long to sort it out, we have my graphics card and my Elgato there in this way just so I can talk to this side for a little bit we have three 120 millimeter intake fans this is pulling in cold air from the bottom it pulls from the bottom up into the case and it pushes it all the way up into the case which is good what you expect it's all good and fine and dandy don't really need to say much more about that on the side we have three outtake fans this pulls air straight out onto this side here pulls it out of the case to keep everything nice and uh, cool uh, obviously air goes in and then hopefully circulates a little bit and it gets pulled out from the side and obviously with these fans being positioned this way it pulls it up and through the radiator which also helps to cool the radiator i wouldn't necessarily see the point in mounting them the other way around that would only draw the heat outside of the, the heat from the radiator into the case and then you'd only get this side outtake so that had to be an outtake for me the other the other possibility is having this as an intake was never going to do it because it would rely on two fans being outtake bringing six uh six intake fans i don't see the point something in my room's echoing really loudly um but yeah three fans in three fans out and then the out which also calls the radiator i think that's really good um, I do have an option to mount a fan there if I want to. Um, could go out and do that. Doesn't necessarily. I, I haven't deemed it worthy as of yet. I do need to sort out the multicolored motherboard to match this. 
but like I say, I have set it to white. The actual video itself looks ever so slightly blue, and to my eye, it does actually look a little bit blue. These and these seem a different colour to that. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know whether it's just the way I'm like looking at things. No, it's exactly, it is fine, it's perfectly fine, anyway. Okay, everybody, so that does end today's video. Um, just, uh, I'm going to create a quick, brief rundown of the parts that I've got. I'm going to whip up the uh, document I've got here and just go through it. So we have, the motherboard is a ROG Strix B450F. I can now go ahead and change that because that's what I've got. The CPU is a Ryzen 9 3900X. I did have the possibility of going for a 5900. I have still got it with me, but it didn't work when I used it. And it wasn't necessarily compatible with the motherboard straight away, so I haven't tried to fiddle around with that. I don't particularly want to fiddle around with that, so I'm not going to. We have 32 gigabytes. You did see it. I didn't quite mention it, but 32 gigabytes, which is four 8 gigabyte sticks. Of course, they're Vengeance RGB RAM, um, along with six um, LL120 Corsair fans, all set to white. We obviously then have the H, is it H100i uh, AIO cooler, I did mention, and the two fans that come with that, that's also set to white. The GPU is still only a GTX 1060. That is one. 100% going to be my next purchase. I'm going to be getting a new GPU as soon as I can A, afford one and B, get one. Um, the power supply is now an EVGA. No, it's not. It's actually a Corsair, isn't it? Let me change that. It is a Corsair um, MX. Is it, is, I think it's an MX 650X. Uh, RM, sorry, RM. I need to readjust this, I didn't change this. It is a Corsair RM650X, which means basically uh, it's, um, I think it's a form, no, the form factor is ATX. I don't know what the X stands for, maybe it means that it's modular. Maybe the X means it's modular, but it's 650 watt power supply. Um, the SSD that you can see installed on the motherboard is a one terabyte Evo Plus M.2 drive. I then have two hard drives mounted in the back. You can't necessarily see where that or the power supply is because of the way the case is oriented. Um, but there is a one terabyte Seagate bar. Uh, no, there's a one terabyte WD drive. Western, yeah, WD Western Digital Drive, and a four terabyte Seagate Barracuda, which is very nice. The case itself is a Lianli O. 11XL it is the extra large RGB version, which means it has this strip on the front which you can change colours, which is nice. I keep it in white in theme with the computer. If I do want to change it at any point, I can do. Um, and yeah, all in all, absolutely very nice. Um, if anyone wants to know the GPU that I do want to upgrade to is a 3070 Vision. I the reason I want the uh, Vision version of the graphics card is if I get 3070 Vision. OC, uh, it's eight gigabytes rather than the three gigabytes I've got, and you get it in white, which means it'll be in keeping with the theme of the PC. Um, and they're, they're retailing for what it should be around six hundred and fifty pounds. If I take a quick look on the Discord that I've got set up to give me notifications, if I do look at the thirty seventies, the most recent one was two days ago, and it came up at a price of nine hundred pounds. So that's how inflated they are. They're absolutely ridiculous in terms of price. That one's eight hundred pounds, and then this one was. Oh, this is the one that I wanted actually. So the right once they are like fully available, Currys keep their price exactly the same. They have a price match guarantee that I assume they have to go by. Um, and theirs has and always has been set at six hundred and fifty pounds. They're just never available to purchase. Places like overclockers often do and have been inflating the prices to match the market. So the same card, the Vision OC, which is what I want, exactly the same card, 3070 Vision OC, 8 gigabyte, is retailing at Currys. The, the, the price that it was set at, £650. At overclockers, it's 830 So you can already see that's what, £170 or more expensive than it should have been. And they're still not available. So, 
when they are becoming available, I'll buy it from Quarries for £650, hopefully, and then yeah, that'll be a beast of a GPU. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later, this video's gone on long enough, I shall catch you guys later, good, bye.